All right, so so far we've neglected our index.php page, which is the timeline. Now the timeline is supposed to show posts from people that I actually follow only. So if I go to my uh, profile here and go to following, these are the people I am actually following. So I'm only supposed to see posts from them. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, easily do that. So let's open up index.php from our files. There we go. So down here is the posts area. So we are supposed to delete this whole part. Okay, so select this div post bar and go to where you can see it's highlighted. This is the end of it. So I'm going to delete this whole part and save. So let me refresh. Oops. I deleted all the posts. I think I should have left the post bar itself. Let me select that again and delete everything else inside. All right, very good. So now let's go to where we are getting our posts. Let's say profile.php. Let's copy what's inside there. It's actually not profile.php. It's a profile content default. Friends bar, where is that the post bar? Okay, so we're going to copy the entire PHP tags here and paste them right here. Okay, there we go. So that we have something uh, similar going on. So this is looking for posts, uh, a post row here. So we can actually uh, do that right here. So what we will do is we're going to say db is equal to new database it should be capital D. Okay. And then let's make an SQL and we're going to say select all from posts where ID Okay, so now here, this is where it gets interesting. So now let's get first get our uh, followers. So we're going to say user class is equal to new user. Okay, so we are getting the user class because we want to know who our followers are. So let me copy this and say followers is equal to user class and the function is get followers like so and then in order to get our followers we need to give uh, two parameters that is the uh, my user id okay so i'm going to say how exactly do i get my user id it's in the uh session right let me get my followers. So to get that from the session, I actually uh, don't remember. Where is that? Profile.php. That's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, so there, session. Uh -huh. So whoever is logged in at this time, their ID, and then let's put type as user. Okay. So there we go. So we're going to have followers in there. So this should only work if if is array oops followers. Mm -hmm. So if we come back with an array, now what what followers returns is the user ID and the date of uh, the follow. So what we're going to do is we're going to say follower IDs. We just want the user IDs is equal to, let's use array column, okay? Because we just want to get the uh, user ID. So the input is the array, so follow was, and then the column we want is user ID. Uh -huh. Okay, so once we get that, now we have follower IDs. Okay, so 
we have to check if it is set before we can use it or let's just do this follow ids is equal to false that way we can check if it's not false then it has some content all right so in order to make the query we have to check if that is good okay so we check if that is true if it is then we use it so one thing we want to do here is to implode uh, this thing so we're going to use a uh, a function called implode implode now what implode does is that it gets an array and gets all the values from the array and connects them together to make a string okay so let's say you've got uh, names in an array location one two three four different names when you use implode it's going to connect all those string uh, names together in one line as a string and then the glue that it's looking for here is the text that will be in between those values so what i want in between those values is uh, uh, a comma but instead of just a comma i want a single quote a comma and then another single quote like so okay and then the pieces is the array itself so i'm changing the same array into a string like that so the result of this will be something like this let me give an example here it's going to be a string for example it's going to be like name one inverted comma 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 name two comma all right so this is going to be like the result uh, of this operation so it will be like this this is exactly what i want now the reason i want it like this is because i want to use it in a query as a string okay now because this uh, inverted comma single quote comma and single quote are only going to be in between the words like this i have to add one more comma at the beginning here and one more at the end because this name three will need one more at the end like that so that this is in the single quotes comma single quotes or oh, sorry wrong comma there single quotes comma and so on All right so the reason i want it like that is because i want to use a function called in in here so select all from posts where where user id okay so we are looking for all posts with the user ids of those people we follow so it's going to be select all from posts where user id instead of saying user id equal to we're going to say user id in like so and then put inverted commas like that okay so we're going to limit the results to something like 30 posts or so you can put whatever number you want at that at that spot all right so in takes in that parameter here like so okay so if for example i say user id in let's say there's a user id 45 and then there's a user id 78 it ends up like this so if i write this query like this where user id in that that it's going to look for whatever user id has this or that and then it's going to return those so you can put as many numbers as you want in here or as many parameters as you want in here it's going to search for all of them so instead of us putting them one by one we're just going to use the implode function which is what will happen here so let me copy this and simply put the function uh, the returned string there however remember that the quotes are only at the beginning so i have to put one at the end here so i would do that and then add this like so so that there's an inverted comma at the beginning and another one at the end okay so now let's retrieve the information and we're going to send send that to posts because that's what it's expecting here so i'm going to say posts is equal to db okay db read sql and that's it 
it should show us the posts that we want so let me refresh that so there's a fatal error call to an identified method get followers hmm. where is this get followers in the users class how come that isn't there okay so let's go back and check what's actually in there so the users classes go to classes and user class i could have sworn this oh it's get following ah oh, sorry my bad so get following mm, that should sort our problem unidentified variable image class get thumb profile cool okay so let's do this now image class so we need image class as well so let me copy it right here instead of user class let's use the image class because it's required for the user profiles to show okay any more complaints there we go so no more complaints see now now we have to order the um, the results by id so we're going to say order by id descending now what this does is it shows the newest posts at the top okay so there we go so we have a post from mary and my own posts down here since I'm following myself but in an event where I'm not following myself I won't be able to see my own posts here on the timeline so let me go and unfollow myself there we go and let me go to my timeline and you see I only got uh, posts from other people so if I still want to show my own posts whether I like it or not I can still add my own user ID to this list okay so how i can do that is i can either add it to this array or simply add it as part of the query so to add it as a as part of the query i can simply say where user id is equal to uh, let's come back here session let me create uh my user id is equal to let me do that so that i can easily add it to this so i can simply copy it and say there and then put inverted commas so i'm going to put or double pipes or i can simply say or like this doesn't matter but double pipes looks more more programming so let's go oops something all right so i, can, I can't simply say or in I, I have to mention the user id again or user id in okay so my bad and there we go so everything back to normal like that okay so we have our timeline but we also need to be able to post content here so since this is not functioning let me copy what's in the profile.php page let me go uh down here let's see first of all posting starts here i should copy this whole thing okay it starts there and ends here so i should copy this as it is without uh, a problem copy index.php and then i go to the very top where is this okay there we go and then i can paste okay and then i come back again let me copy the actual uh, section that uh, posts something which is in the profile content default i think that's where it is yeah posts area so the whole form here i'm going to copy the entire form come back to index.php and paste where the form is here 
there's actually no form here so I will simply uh, replace everything here like so let me come back here and refresh and there we go so now I can post let me try my new post is here and then I can post oh my new post is here so it's it's actually posted but it sent me here so let me go back to my timeline ah there we go but so one thing we can change here is to go back up instead of redirecting to the profile we go to the index.php okay so everything is good now let me write uh, testing another post uh -huh. there is another post but here is showing me uh, somebody else's profile image and stuff so I can go uh, back to this profile.php and copy what's here so let me come back here profile.php where are you uh -huh. and also the users data up here I can uh, copy I can copy everything here up to that point copy and then I go to index.php and paste right here so let me see that I haven't broken anything on my timeline okay everything still works and I get my nice uh, icon there so let me change this icon right here So there I will have to come here and uh, in profile.php, sorry. So where there is the profile image here, that's where I'm going to replace, right there. And I'll come to index.php. I think this thing is called selfie somewhere there on the friends bar so I'm going to replace this whole oh so first name last name this thing is fine so I'm just going to replace here that say where it's um, selfie just that part and I'm going to paste like so so I will punch this backward like so mm -hmm. that should do it let me refresh and there we go okay so everything is fine now we have our timeline working just fine and if I click on this I go to my timeline followers oops why is this empty oh there are no followers following I'm following one person so if I click here now I can see that I'm following two people and I have one follower. There. All right, so everything is working just fine. So in the next video, we're going to look at the about and settings uh, sections. That way we can complete this whole line here. I'll see you in the next video.